this week is going to be feeling like the dog days of summer. If you're taking your pet out, there are some things you want to watch out for to keep them safe as well. Our first news weekend morning anchor Brooke Minahan is live in the newsroom with some advice you need to hear. Brooke. Yeah, well, we figured how to keep by ourselves cool this summer, but what about our pets? This can actually be very dangerous for them, these temperatures, and even deadly. Just like us, they can suffer from uh, heat stroke and heat exhaustion. So if you are taking them out, there's some things that you need to know to keep them safe. Obviously, you do need to keep them out to go to the bathroom or maybe get some zoomies out, but uh, animal advocates recommend if you are taking them out to limit that time, maybe like five to 10 minutes at, um, at a time and always keep them in the shade or in the grass. The temperature outside may be reaching the 90s this week, but the ground they're walking on could be much hotter. So even if you're doing everything you can to keep your dog in, uh, cool in the heat, there are some signs to watch out for if you think that there might be something wrong. Panting, drooling, um, you know, lifting up of the paws one at a time to help keep their pads because their paw pads can burn really, really quickly. Um, lethargy, if they're um, suffering from heat stroke, they can become really lethargic. They can pass out. She says they've already had several animals come in that needed to be rushed to the hospital because of heat stroke. She says one thing to especially avoid in the summer is bringing your dog on errands or with you anywhere in general because those temperatures inside the car can quickly rise to life threatening levels. That's even if you crack a window or park your car in the shade. That's latest for now reporting live in the newsroom. Brooke Meanahan, First News this morning.